now that the platform is uh, nearly finished it's nearly time to start uh, with the paint job but before doing that I've made a couple of holes uh, in the middle of the platform these holes are going to be used for cables that will need to go under the platform uh, to avoid having cable uh, running around while you're walking on the platform itself uh, now if you remember here right in the middle there is about five centimeter little channel and uh, the, the cables can go either the hole at the back of this hole here they'll go through down and then they'll come up from the front and plug to any plug or behind the computer that they need to go the other thing I have not videotaped it's how I have uh, connected the two platforms together so one, one when they were uh, upside down I've made four holes uh, across from one side to the other one here one somewhere around here here and then here and I connected these two halves together with uh, bolts they are 12 centimeters long bolts and a 10 millimeters in diameter I've then screwed them together not too tight uh, since MDF can, can the bolt can really go through the MDF uh, but once I was happy with how tight they were then I have uh, turned this upside down. Uh, well, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to close with uh, uh, wood fillers, all of these screw holes. I will let the, the filler dry. I'm going to sand it off and uh, I'm going to start with the painting. I'm using tight bond wood filler to close all the, all the holes where I put in a screw. Now just using one of those things, I, get, I take a little bit of of filler in and I place it in the hole I just pass it on a few times until I feel like that the hole is filled in it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if there is a little bit left over because it actually it is better it's recommended that you have a little bit of a of a, of a hill um, because then you're going to sand it off anyway Now that the filler uh, has dried, I'm going to talk about the associating uh, sanders. Um, I'm using a 240 grit uh, sandpaper. This should be more than enough just to, to give it a good sand. Now, you don't need to press. Uh, basically, the weight of the machine is probably already enough. You don't want to make like a hole in the... Uh, you don't want to deform the MDF. So just enough to remove the extra and make it nice and smooth. And then you can start painting. perfect can feel absolutely nothing the hole is completely filled once this is painted you won't see nothing it's time to start painting and I think that one layer of primer for the MDF and uh, one layer of, uh, of uh, paint should be enough um, one thing is for sure I will only be doing one layer of primer and then we'll see we'll see for the paint I'm going to use a, a roller because due to the uh, to the large and comfortable area that needs to be painted it's uh, the roller is probably the fastest fastest thing I can use I don't have a spray machine plus I don't think I would be using a spray machine inside here otherwise I'll probably get all the walls and the cockpit uh, dirty this is the uh, local ground pa paint from uh, from the shop where I generally buy these kind of things uh, I'm not really uh, that interested in, uh, in getting uh, the top of the marks this should be doing the job
as the primer has dried, uh, I'm gonna sand the entire platform. Uh, I'm using a much thinner, uh, a much thinner paper than I used uh, the first time I've sanded it. I think that this is a 320 or 360 grit. Uh, remember, you don't want to remove the MDF paint from the platform, so you're gonna do it really, really light. You just want to remove those little. Uh, grains that have popped up through the drying of the primer. So for paint uh, I'm using uh, a, again a house milk here uh, the shop I bought this is Carvai. It's a it's a glossy white kind of paint and it's tartatine based. Uh, I use glossy because it's a little bit more um, it's a bit more resistant for uh, for, for this kind of work than, than the just standard uh, uh, type of paint. I mean, if we consider that we're going to be putting so much stuff on this and I'm going to be constantly working on it, uh, it's not something I want to scratch to have scratched that easily that you have to constantly repaint it to keep it uh, uh, looking good. So I'm going to use the same method. I'll, uh, I'll stick it in a bucket and I'll use a, I'm going to use a roller to, to go over it. Um, I'm really hoping that I can do it with one, only one coat. But if I see that this, I don't like it after uh, after just a coat, I'll probably do the second one. Um, I'll I'll do the coat and then I'll let it dry again overnight uh, and see if it's dry tomorrow. The, this is they say that within three hours is already dry. I find it strange, but since I have no hurry, I'll wait for it overnight. Here is the finished platform. Uh, you can still see the hole here. Uh, this is because none of these parts are actually the size that they're supposed to be. The throttle will be much bigger. There is a fire panel missing and the radius, uh, the bay for the radius will be much bigger. I think, I think the probability at the end is going to end up somewhere around here, which is kind of what I wanted. Um, this hole that we see here, uh, there is one just uh, also in the front. This is the, the channel where cables can go through. They can come out of, out of here, uh, go into this hole and underneath. Uh, here actually should have been closed. The hole should not have been visible here. And I intend to close it. I just want, I haven't done it yet. I wanted to put the... Um, I wanted to put the platform in the right position first uh, and then I'll just cut a piece of MDF, paint it white and just close it here. Uh, cables, there should be no reasons why cables should come from outside. Um, so this is pretty much it. I'm going to put the seat back on top and uh, I'll get on with the, with the next part. So again, thank you for watching, and uh, if you like the if you like the video, please uh, like it and uh, subscribe it. Thank you.